Whether you're newlyweds, longtime partners, or just friends, these games are a perfect way to bond and have fun together. So grab your significant other and get ready to join us on a journey through the best couples co-op games on the market. Stardew Valley was a game that neither of us really thought we were going to enjoy. In fact, I still remember my brother showing it to us and telling us how fun it was. But at the time, he had literally just finished showing off Spider-Man 2018, and after such a fun and action-packed showcase, Stardew Valley was a little lackluster, and neither of us were interested at all. However, about a year later, I came across it again, right as they had added split-screen co-op. And we all know we couldn't resist that. After waiting a while for the update to actually make it to Nintendo Switch, we dove in. I was skeptical at first, but we quickly found ourselves completely hooked. We would sit on the couch for hours on Saturday and not even realize the time passed. This game has it all. Fishing, farming, fighting, exploring, building, and relationships. Honestly, the game looked so boring from the outside, but once we got into it, we found ourselves struggling to put it down. If you want something relaxing with an incredible amount of depth, then definitely check out Stardew Valley. Ship of Fools is a game that we didn't completely understand until we played it. So we set out to defeat the Aqua Apocalypse, and it was honestly so fun. A little harder than we generally like our roguelites, but that's because we're little wimps when it comes to replaying levels. The game places you on a boat and provides two cannons to blast away at monsters as you go. The ways we had to work together were so fun to mess around with and reminded me a bit of Overcooked, but with a scurvy twist. The combat is great. You'll need to load your cannons and whatever ammo you can and blast away at the monsters that will try to drag you to the deep depths below. There was a good variety of different ammo to fire and monsters to fire at. There was little actual story, but plenty of things to upgrade as you continuously fail until you're powerful enough to beat the game in one go. The bosses in this game are ominous and so well designed. If you're fans of the roguelike genre, this is probably one of the best co-op experiences it has to offer. A couple months back, Carly and I were going through a bunch of couch co-op demos on the Nintendo Switch, and we came across Shift Happens. This game obviously looked super cute, and we were really excited, but the real question was, is it any good? After playing the demo, we were super interested and lucky enough to find it on sale for $2, which it is right now as of this video going live. But with the number of games we are constantly playing for the channel, it ended up sitting in our game library for quite a while up until recently, and man, was that a shame. Shift Happens is a simple 2D puzzle platformer that kind of reminds me of Portal 2 in the way the puzzles work and the sterile environment in which the game begins. You play as Bismo and Plom, two gelatinous beings who have the ability to swap their body mass on command. This unique size mechanic is used throughout the game frequently and was so fun to play with. But you have to be careful, because if you're trying to shrink while your partner is in a cramped space, things don't end well. Puzzle platformers are honestly some of my favorite games to play, because instead of just rushing through the level, you actually have to stop and think about what you're going to do and how you need to progress. Shift Happens gets you to work together in numerous different ways, from throwing each other to timing who is big when, pushing blocks, and more. It's a thoroughly enjoyable yet simple co-op game that anyone can have fun with. We are actually still playing through and are only about halfway, but we have loved every level so far and we only occasionally decide to leave coins behind because it's too tough to beat the level and get them. When we found out the Escape Academy had local split-screen co-op, we were so excited. The game reminded us of We Were Here Forever and Operation Tango, two games that we absolutely loved. But they were only online due to the asynchronous nature of the gameplay. But no more. With Escape Academy, we can enjoy it next to each other on the couch. This game's premise is simple enough. It's a digital escape room, or rather a physical escape room made digital for our pleasure. You play as students learning the art of escape and will need to solve all sorts of different puzzles to escape each room. The puzzles vary from finding combinations to deciphering codes or putting together actual puzzles. The puzzles never felt recycled and for any couple that loves the modern day escape room and digital experiences, this is a must buy. Nobody Saves the World absolutely sucked us in. This was one that we could tell by the trailer was right up our alley. A little strange and a lot of fun. Unfortunately, when it was first released, the co-op was only available for online play, so it passed us by. 
until several months later when they announced the couch co-op was coming. From the first time we booted up the game, we did not want to miss a night of playing. Seriously, we played every night for like a week straight. The game follows nobody who, as you guessed, is tasked with saving the world. Using a pilfered magic wand, he gains the ability to transform into numerous different forms, and this is where it gets crazy. The amount of things you can do is almost limitless, and we had so much fun messing around with the crazy combinations. On top of that, the world is so fun to explore. The side quests are plentiful, amusing, and fun. The dungeons are a blast to dive through, and the story is pretty decent as well. All in all, if you like dungeon crawler action games, then this one is the cream of the crop. If you are fans of Strange, then Struggling is a game you definitely need to check out. We honestly didn't get too far into this one because life took us in another direction, but the little that we have played is incredibly memorable and we're always wishing to go back to it. This strange game has you playing as a deformed lump of muscle and sinew with two arms and two faces. Your goal is to escape and you have to travel through a very fleshy 2D environment to do so. The trick is that each of you controls only one arm of the dinky little character. You'll find yourself grunting a lot as you literally struggle to move. With only arms to move with, you will need to swing and pull yourself everywhere you wish to go. Despite the rather odd and disgusting setting, this is a fantastic co-op experience that should not be ignored. If you can stomach the fleshy environment, then definitely pick this one up and attempt to control one body as two separate individuals. It may prove more difficult and fun than you think. Normally, we would only recommend games that we've played, but these next two games are planned to come out later this year, and they look like such promising couples games that we have to mention them really quick. Also, if they have been released, you can find our reviews of them in the description below. The first of these two is Blanc, a calming adventure that aims to hit you right in the heartstrings. This black and white textless game will see you on an adorable journey together to return to your families after a terrible snowstorm. The game is designed specifically for two players who will control a nimble fawn and a small black wolf cub. This is one of those rare co-op games that attempts to tell a story through soundtrack and visuals alone. Each character has its own unique strengths that complement each other. The smaller wolf cub can get through tight spaces while the fawn can jump farther and higher. The game is set to release on Valentine's Day, February 14th, so pick it up and have yourself a sweet stay-at-home date night. The second game not yet released is River Tales Stronger Together. We've talked about this game numerous times on our channel ever since we had the opportunity to play a short demo just over a year ago. This game follows another unlikely pair who have to work together to reach their goals. It's a cooperative 3D platformer where you play as Finn the fish and Furple the cat. Together, you will have to progress through the gorgeous platforming stages. On your journey, you will travel through beautiful landscapes of blended land and water. You'll have to continuously work together to cross through the elements. Finn is able to lift lily pads as platforms, and Purple is able to open water gates for Finn to pass through. There are plenty of other mechanics, such as linked bouncing mushrooms, stubborn frogs to knock off lily pads, and turtles that have it out for you but are ultimately your only way across the river. We honestly cannot wait for this one to release. It's planned for later this year with early access coming very soon. We talked about 10 other couples games in this video right here, and if you don't go check it out, then you might be missing the perfect game for your relationship. So we'll see you over there. We love you guys. Y'all are awesome.